and now want to head to Arlington Heights where WGN's Dana Rebic is surveying the damage. Hi, Dana. Hi, well here in Cook County as well as in Lake County, uh, similar conditions as to what Jenna mentioned. You can see these shrubs next to me. There's a coating of ice on them, some slippery road conditions, and even some trees that were brought down not far from here. Kind of cold, really rainy, and terrible. That about sums up the conditions across Lake and Cook counties tonight. The freezing rain and wind doing some damage in Arlington Heights. Take a look at this huge tree trunk that snapped and fell onto a detached garage in the 400 block of West Mueller Street, also damaging an SUV inside. If you don't have to be out in the road, just stay home. But if you do, just be careful. Um, Drive slowly and take your distance from cars because it is kind of slippery. To the north, snowplow driver Roberto Tellez says he saw some of that ice as he spent the day around Lake Forest and Glenview. In Waukegan, the Public Works Department responsible for treating more than 250 miles of roads. Their trucks busy today laying down salt and liquid de-icer. Trying to keep the streets open and make sure everybody gets home safe tonight. Treating bridges and overpasses a top priority as the temperatures drop to keep them from freezing over. Driving home tonight, sure, I don't want to slip off the road, but these crews are pretty good at what they do. Jim Ray in Arlington Heights helping fix a water main break tonight will be driving back to Chicago. He's ready for winter to be over. Oh, give me summer. Give me 85 and sunny. This is terrible. I'm done with it. I don't want it anymore. And ComEd tonight dealing with a high number of power outages at last check. 103 customers without service at this hour. They will be busy tonight trying to restore uh, power to all of these folks. Live in Arlington Heights, Dana Rebic, WGN News.